Hi friends, Michael McMurtry here for the Ingalls Table, ready to add some fun and flavor to your Halloween with these jack-o'-lantern pies. So let's get to it. First thing you want to do is get yourself a pie. You can get a frozen pie from Ingalls or you can make your own. You just want to have a crust on the top. So what you want to do, this is great for kids, for adults, just make a face that you like. So I'm going to do that right now, just sort of free form and just use whatever knife you feel comfortable with. And you just want to cut through. You don't have to go too far down, just make sure you get through the crust. And then you just stick your knife in there and sort of wedge it out of the pie. Okay, make sure you get all these little pieces out. Today I'm working with a blueberry pie. I like the contrast between the crust color and the black sort of blue dark color of the fruit makes it very Halloween like to me. Halloween is one of my favorite times of year. I love getting in costume and having my friends over and this makes a great dessert for everyone to enjoy. All right let me just show you what this is looking like. We got our face there now it's time to put our orange food coloring on. So we've got this orange gel food coloring, which you can pick up at Ingalls. Just put a little bit here. And then you want to mix that with a little bit of egg. All right, so just add just a little bit. That'll give it a little bit of a sheen. Some of these I made, um, you'll see some of them are shinier than the others. And that's the difference between using alcohol uh, just a touch of alcohol which will thin out the gel and egg. Egg takes a little shinier and alcohol will make it a little bit more matte, okay? So now take your brush and just go through and you want to paint the pie. Have your kids do it. You can do any color and then you don't, you're not limited to a jack-o'-lantern. I'm doing that right now but if you wanted to do like cut out leaves or you wanted to uh, do something uh, green for Christmas there's tons of things you can play with, with different food colorings. But this process works really well, and it's super easy and impressive. You can see how much, uh, just a little bit of food coloring can go a long way. All right, so we are now completed with painting our orange. And as a last little embellishment to make it extra shiny and sparkly, take some orange glitter and just go right over the top, just like that. And this is going to melt and get sparkly and then bake it at normal directions, just like what's on the package. Just put it right on a baking dish and put it right in the oven and it's going to come out looking just like these do. And I don't know if you can see how it's sparkling and bright orange. And then if you want to do a little embellishment, the last thing I would do is you can get a pepper and cut the top off, bend the little piece of aluminum foil down, and now you've got your pumpkin. I want to thank you so much for joining me here at the Ingalls Table. Remember, you can find so much great stuff right here on the site from recipes to helpful tips and great party ideas. Happy Halloween.